The biggest mystery in life is what happens when it's all over. What is on the other side? Well, as far as these computers are concerned, Free Geek is on the other side. Free Geek is where old computers go when they finally pull the plug. It's the brainchild of concerned environmentalists in Portland, Oregon, who believe that a volunteer-based recycling organization is exactly what's needed as far as technology is concerned. And the idea was a good one, and it has spread like wildfire. The first Canadian chapter here in Vancouver has been operating for several years, and literally hundreds of volunteers ensure Free Geek is a responsible way to recycle or repurpose old technology. Free Geek is a non-profit uh, community reuse and recycling technology center and we're located in Vancouver. Um, we do uh, computer testing, education, workshops, um, we give out computers and uh, we have a pretty good time on a daily basis. Basically when someone brings a computer to our facility, uh, we run it through an evaluation process. So we're looking to see if it can be reused. And the same goes for peripherals and, and other types of computer equipment as well. Um, reuse for us is kind of at the top of the pyramid and then we go from there. So if it has to get scrapped and recycled, then it, it does. But uh, we're always trying to, to see if we can wring some more mileage out of equipment that's already been manufactured and already been uh, shipped around and sold. So I think the best way to describe the, the whole process here is kind of an organized chaos. But this very first station here is where they evaluate the technology and see if it does have a future. Sumi is my instructor. Hi. When, and when the first computer we had up on the bench, you said yeah. it's a reject right away because? Because there's, a, there's no USB. So you have to look for some basic requirements right away. So there's no USB on that right. one. So it's just going to be pulled apart and look to see if there's good RAM or a hard drive well, in it. Well, it's just too old. It's too old. Yeah, it's yeah, just too old. That's right. sad that it's too old. Now, Bye. what about this one here? This one's got a chance? OK, you see? OK. Here Here's little USB, two slots, so you want to look in. So with USB, we've yeah. got it? So we've got yeah. USB, so what's next? What do we do next? And then you want to open this box. Right? We want to open the box, okay. Yeah. We have that reuse eye at every stage in the game, so when a system comes in, if it fails evaluation and it's not suitable for reuse, maybe it's too old or maybe there's some parts in it that are broken, um, we're still going to try to pull the components and we're still going to try to reuse those components. So the RAM, we'll pull out the RAM, we'll do testing and sorting of that RAM. Um, if it's suitable for uh, reuse, then that's great. The same with uh, the same goes with other other parts, of, like the accessory cards and things like that, and the power supply even. Power supply, we're going to we're gonna evaluate it, we're going to test it, and if it's suitable for reuse, then great. That's better for everybody. Okay, so inside yeah. here we've got the power cord and a bunch mm -hmm. of other things. So okay. once we look at it, what are we looking for now? So we are looking for right now is, uh, okay, once you want to fill it up, okay, there's no hard drive. Okay, this is okay. There's no hard drive, but there are three media drives. There's a floppy but, drive and two CD drives. Right, but in this case, we don't really looking for this side. So we just uh, want to test this motherboard for not uh, working or not. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, put it back this one. We're just whipping out cables like crazy. Cable. So you just pulled off the, all the drive cables. So yeah. now we're just testing the motherboard. Oh, we've got a list here right. of things. Right. So add RAM, RAM and video, video card, card if necessary. And then there's no RAM here. There's no RAM in here. And then you see there's two, one slot. It means this is DDR. DDR RAM. Yeah. Okay. It does have a video card though, so we're in good shape there. Yeah, only RAM. And you want to grab one of these and then put it in, in the goes the RAM. RAM. Okay. Yeah. I've got a good feeling about this computer. I don't think it's destined for the scrap heap. Power goes in. Mm -hmm. This is really yeah, exciting. Exactly. At this point here. And we don't need the mouse hooked up yet? Well, we don't need the mouse. Don't need the mouse. Right. Okay, now is the moment of determination for this PC. We're going to find out whether it has a future or whether it's destined for the scrap heap. Right. And I got bad news for this computer. It is not even registering at all. Yeah. So probably the motherboard? I think so. Motherboard. So this, this computer is going to be a reject. Freaky gets computers from everywhere and anywhere. Um, we get computers from just regular people in the public who have computers that they don't want anymore. Maybe they're upgrading. Maybe they've got that basement supply of computers that's been sitting there for 10 years. We also get computers from the corporate sector. It's a way for companies to kind of show their community um, involvement um, by making sure that their computers have a chance of being reused. Um, we also get computers from a lot of educational institutions like ourselves, um, universities and things like that. Um, and then we I mean, when I'm on my bicycle and I see someone's left a computer tower on the corner, I strap it on my rat trap and I bring it in. I mean, so there's really a wide variety of, of sources for this stuff. It, it, computers have become really ubiquitous, and the problem is that you, you see a huge mound of unwanted electronics, and on the other side you see a whole pile of people who don't have access. And so really we try to bring those problems together and solve them under one roof. So we are at the pre-dismantle station, and with me is Daniel, who's going to walk me through the process. How long does it usually take you to totally strip out a computer? 
Oh, not that long. Just about 10, 15 minutes at the most. At the most. Okay, so what we're looking for is we actually have a kind of a, a cheat sheet that'll tell us all of the different steps that we have to take all the way through. So the first thing is pull out all the flat wire. Yep. And that's these ribbons over here. All the ribbon cables and stuff like that. Yeah. Now these things usually have little keys or... There we go. Oh, these ones usually will just come just, out. Just pop right out. Yeah, if you pull hard enough that type. I'll pull, pull hard enough. <laughs> if you pull hard enough, it'll anything will come out. And then when you pull those out, make sure you put them down here. Everything has its own separate bin. Yeah. Oh, careful, that's, that's the power supply over here. That one actually has a little switch. See this? Okay. You gotta make sure you pull that switch. All the other ones over here, they don't have those. They'll just pop out. Well, once we've figured out that a computer is reusable, um, we run it through um, our build program. So we have volunteers who help us to, to refurbish it and test it and run it through quality control. Um, and then it might get distributed in a few different ways. One way is through our volunteer programs. We have something called the adoption program. So somebody who comes in and volunteers 24 hours of time helping us at our facility gets a free computer. They get a class on how to use it. Um, also, uh, someone uh, might get equipment from us as part of a community organization. We have a hardware grant foundation where we give out free equipment to community organizations or other nonprofits, um, or it might go to our thrift store and be sold uh, again making reuse more accessible to the community. We're going to take out all the optical drives. You look for RAM, you look for basically any parts that can be repurposed, right? Anything that can come out within a minute, you got to take that out here. Okay. Anything so that'll take longer than that, that's for the final almost. dismantle. Okay. So there's one more dismantling stage after this for the hard, really hard pieces. Oh yeah, that's for when the final death knell, no, okay. the final blow. And you got some better tools for that. You got the odd one that kind of the forces persuader. The, the persuader. The persuader. The okay. persuader. Now, what are we looking for as far as the power supply goes? Now, with the power supply, you need to make sure it's a certain wattage. This one is 300 watts. That is below the minimum here. Okay. It's got to be 350 and up. Okay, so that's trash. This one is dead. Now we take out all the optical drives as well. All the optical drives. Now, are these? Usually they're screwed in on both sides. Mm -hmm. So this is, the, with the pre-station, they only have to take off one side here. They'll have to take off the final side. The other screws for the optical drives are on the other side of the machine okay. itself. So we'll just get all these yeah. screws out on this side get first. all the screws off on this side first. We, once we've got the optical drives out, I'm looking up there. The RAM is gone. The video card is gone already. This so is the second to last autopsy. And what about all the screws? You keep them all? We have a bin here for all the screws. Sometimes you'll see them lying around on the floor, can't catch them all, but so many <laughs> screws come through here and the majority go into the bin like they should, so it's not a big concern. Ah, yes, this is one of the ones that has to be pushed out from the front. Got it. If you look on the two sides here, it juts out just a few millimeters, and that's enough to really put you off. So this one comes out front Also too. from the front? Yep. And finally, oh, it's a zip drive. It's not even a floppy drive. We get those every now and then. They're there we go. It was a blast from the past. Okay, so we've got all the pieces out. All the flat wire that we can remove has been removed. Oh, we've got a few extra little audio cables here that we'll pull out from this. And then this goes to the final stage for the for the last of the indiscretions that will go against this particular system, right? Yes, woes are almost past. <laughs>